All right, like, thanks for tuning in the video today. Today we've got two of the Cummins P4500 gen sets. Now I have a parallel kit for it, and then I have just the standard gen sets. And what we want to do today is we want to see will one of these units run two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Um, my camper has two of those, so we can run this test. I know I've done it with the 15 and the 13. I want to do it with a 15 and a 15. Now I do have the soft start RV soft starts installed on my AC units, so it doesn't have that inrush amperage. Um, I think if you didn't have those, you definitely would not be able to do it with one 4500. So today what I wanna do is I'm gonna fire this one up. We're gonna start one up and we wanna see what the runtime is. Um, got a display on these, it'll show you kind of what your, your fuel runtime is. I think there's half a tank in this one, so we can estimate off of that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started and let's see uh, how it handles one what the load percentage is, and then we'll see how it handles too. So let's get started. So as you can see, we took the overload on the gym set. Um, it was running them earlier, but it's it's pretty loaded um, when you're running both those air so you can get, get them both keep going. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and parallel the units and we're gonna look at the runtime on that. Um, you know, they will start a 15 and a 13. I have that on my last RV. I've got another video if you wanna check my channel. You can go back and look at that video. Uh, but two 15s is pushing it even with the soft starts. So let me get the parallel kit hooked up and uh, let's fire them both up. Let's look at that runtime because we know with one unit, we were almost 12 hours of runtime. Let's see what it looks like on, on two units. Okay, so we've used the parallel kit. We've got both of them hooked up, both the grounds hooked up. Um, you know, one of the things I've noticed with these Cummins is, is if you're running the parallel kit, it splits the legs up one on one unit, one on the other. And so as long as your RV has the air conditioner, which most of them do on either or, right? Well, they're not both tied to the same leg, then you'll get a pretty good balance in the pairing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start these up. We're gonna start one 15 unit up and just kind of see what it did to this timer on this unit so we can see the load and, and how long it says. Okay, we've got both units fired up. So about 10 and a half on both of them, about half a tank on both of them. We'll be able to kind of guess where they land. We're going to start one of those airs up and uh, we'll come check them out. Okay, so we've got the air, one AC running right now. Uh, it looks like we're below 25% on the load on both of them. And what you need is it looks like it corrected the timer for the fuel on both. So it's 9 hours and 10 minutes for the run time with half a tank. So parallel like this, if you had a full tank, probably almost get 18 hours and that's on six gallons, a little over six gallons of gas, right? So, uh, not too bad. And you're in the full 50 amp because we're using the 50 amp adapter. So you, your wires are large enough. You know, earlier when we had the 30 amp, even if you could have ran both of those ACs, you'd have really been pushing, you know, the burning plug up. So, we're gonna start the second unit up and see what they do and how they react. Okay, so now we have both airs running, both the compressors are on. We show about 50% load on one and probably about 40 on the other. And uh, we're showing about 
fluctuating a little bit between six and a half to seven hours at the time on the timers. And that's with half a tank on both the units. So. pretty good paralleled in my opinion um the one thing i that i've noticed about them is when you get a heavy load on them they kind of ramp up against each other a little bit so they'll kind of rev a little bit and kind of won't be a consistently smooth um as they are if they're running by themselves um you know if you're gonna run one fifteen thousand btu air conditioner and you want a little extra power to spare um a soft start definitely is going to help that and uh you know these units will do it so I'd like to thank you for watching the video please hit that like and subscribe I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.